My sponsor is having a crazy sale to end the season, only $3 for 5 million coins, so if you're looking to get those last few season score tickets, make sure to check them out for cheap NBA Live Mobile coins. What's up, ballers? We finally have some news for NBA Live Mobile 18. Logged into the game this morning, and we've got countdown to tip off. So, tap the info button to check out our blog to learn about all the new features coming next season and get a sneak peek at the brand new program coming in next week. Starting on opening night, October 17th, you can participate in an 11 challenge event that highlights the teams with the best storylines heading into the new season. Season score has been extended, so keep on earning those tickets to redeem rewards next season. We already knew about that. It's not been extended any further. I think this is just talking about the fact that it has been extended, which we already knew. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the blog and look at some of these new features that we got that are coming to NBA Live Mobile. So in the second paragraph, they kind of give us an update on why the game isn't out yet. NBA Live Mobile is also putting in the work to have the best possible 2017-18 season. Greatness takes time, blah, blah, blah. We need a little more time to deliver the best possible NBA Live Mobile experience. Okay, I get that. I want to have a great game. If that means we gotta wait a little bit longer, then I guess I can wait. But they said it's not too much more time, and they won't be launching. Okay, so they won't be launching until after tip off. We already knew that as well. It'll be about two weeks after, at least according to the season score. We've been working with our community members to collect valuable feedback for season two so we can make the game awesome. We changed a ton this year. And we're excited to see all the new features we have to offer, including a revamped lineup system. Honestly, I have no idea what that could possibly mean. It could mean you can actually make substitutions in-game, meaning, I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing we're still going to need at least 25 players, because if you've got anything less than that, it's probably going to be too easy to upgrade your lineup, or it's just going to need to be a lot harder to get new players. So I'm honestly not sure what the revamped lineup system is going to be. Obviously, we'll probably get more information about that from the Game Changers whenever they start to get those early access videos. Brand new way to improve your players and your team. So that is more than likely almost certainly going to be training players, which we've seen in Madden Mobile. I personally was a big fan of the feature, but I think there are a lot of people that aren't. So basically how training works is you can take lower level items and players in Madden Mobile and pretty much like throw them into a training thing that will increase the overall of the players in Madden Mobile. So it'll be the same. So basically... Maybe I do like a huge pro pack opening and I've got like an 86 James Harden. I can just take all the bronzes and silvers that I got from my pro pack opening, throw them into the training and it could level my James Harden up to like a, it'll probably, if he's a 90 or if he's an 86 at his base, he'd probably max out at a 106. Sometimes it depends on what overall they are for their base, but usually they can upgrade between 10 and 20 overall. So I really like that. I think we're going to get some really ridiculous cards as a result of it. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see. And then we've also got coaches and the introduction of team chemistry. I, I'm really interested to see. Oh, okay. For those of you that play NBA 2K18, this is what I think is going to happen. So we have coaches and chemistry added into there as well. Basically, different coaches have different specialties, so some coaches will specialize in offense, some will specialize in defense, some will specialize in like certain certain flows of the game, some will do better with a fast-paced tempo, some will do better with a slow-paced tempo, and it'll be the same for the players. So if you have an entire team built around like a fast-paced offense that can shoot threes, so a coach like Mark D'Antonio for the Houston Rockets will be really good for that because his whole offense is built around, or his whole team, I guess, is built around running the court quickly, being able to drive and create threes, shooting a lot of threes. 
But if you get somebody like Greg Popovich and try to throw James Harden and Russell Westbrook on that team, they're not going to have good team chemistry because those players don't really fit into his system and his brand of basketball. So that is my best guess as to how team chemistry and coaches are going to work together. It's a lot like what we do have in NBA 2K18. So you've got coaches and then... They have like different ratings of coaches, so there's all the way up to diamond coaches, and then you've got these different ratings for how a certain player fits in with their system. That's more than likely what we're going to see for NBA Live Mobile. And then we've got refined, more balanced gameplay. Praise the Lord, we've been needing refined gameplay for a long time. Gameplay has not changed pretty much since the soft launch, other than the addition of alley-oops and maybe some cool dribble moves and dunks not a whole lot of change in gameplay lots of changes needed for sure so hopefully they'll be taking care of some of those issues that we've been talking about for a long time things like getting rid of goaltending things like adding backcourt violations either adding foul calls or taking away foul calls and just not letting you get fouled because right now there are times where you basically get hammered on the way to the basket but there's no foul call so it doesn't really make any sense they just got to do one or the other I don't necessarily want foul calls added to the game but if I'm getting tackled to the ground then I kind of want to get foul calls added to the game so make it a little bit realistic for us and then a little bit more news so next season of NBA Live Mobile will be coming soon but in the meantime, starting an opening night, we're going to have a brand new program for our current version featuring the exciting storylines and news of this upcoming season. Opening night, October 17th, you'll be able to log into NBA, the current version of NBA Live Mobile and play an 11 event challenge, blah, blah, blah. Each challenge will reward a tip-off collectible, and you get a free King of the Court pack. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll say that. Pretty much the auction house has already crashed, so the king of the court players that you pull probably won't be able to sell for a whole lot, but we get a free 94 plus player, so I will take it. Going forward, we'll be adding new events every day until the new season of NBA Live Mobile launches. Complete as many as you can, and you may earn enough tokens for a cornucopia or king of the court pack. Okay, sweet. Of course, season score has been extended, so if you are new to the game or want to try to get as many tickets as possible, keep on going hard as you can to earn more. Make sure to check out my sponsor if you need any coins to complete those season score tickets as well. And as we get closer to the launch of NBA Live Mobile, we'll release information on all it has to offer. We're very excited to show it to you. Stay tuned. So... I'm gonna go back to NBA Live Mobile right here. I don't think that we have any live events yet. I believe those live events are live events are going to be launching. Let's see. I believe the off-season movers tryout was already there before. So yeah. Off-season movers is basically I don't think there's anything new. I checked the store and I don't think there are any new packs. Player packs bundles let's see do we have anything under sets come on give us some kind of sets ea i'm assuming the sets aren't dang it so it looks like the sets aren't here either because it would have been under live events so basically what that set is going to give you is a free king of the court pack and it looks like there will be a set to give you a cornucopia pack as well which will really just further crash the auction house, but honestly, I am fine with it. It'll at least give us a little bit of content to cover leading up to NBA Live Mobile 18, because right now, there is like zero content coming into the game. We've got Ultimate Legends on Saturday, and that is it. Literally nothing else coming into the game, so it's gotten a little bit harder to make videos, but with this news... I think this gives us a lot of good information to be able to speculate on what's coming in NBA Live Mobile 18. I might make some videos on what I think those features will be, maybe some draw-ups of what that would look like. Given what we have in NBA 2K18 and what we have in Madden Mobile, especially for the coaches, because I think those, those are going to kind of collide Madden Mobile 18 and NBA 2K18 in that regard. So I'm pretty excited about that, but if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them down below. 
Also, make sure to drop a like down below if you guys are excited for NBA Live Mobile 18. I am ridiculously hyped. You have no idea how long... Actually, you do have an idea how long I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this since September 30th, which was when we were told was going to be the reset. So, <laughs> I'm excited for it to come. Hope you guys are too. But that's going to be it for the video. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like down below if you did. And hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.